Sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I welcome you all to the hearing we're having today. The hearing involves only the motions to intervene and that we're going to be followed with a pre-hearing conference. Um, we didn't have a chance to Move out to the front of the facility and on the yeah. That's good, David. Thank you. That's okay. We'll work. for the people to stand in a place that is our right. This is a year for politicians, okay? They say they're here for the people. This is our right to hear this. This is such a big case. This is my, my question. Why are you putting us in a room that you know cannot accommodate all of us? On purpose. So that we all hear. So for us to be doing what they're dictating us to do, not right, not right. And we have to know what our rights are as a people. Defer this, defer it. They called it last minute because the choice is this. And this is what she said. petitions to be part of the case. Um, petitioners all have reserved seating. After that, um, they'll come up and start calling people who signed up for public seating. So from the top, Ke'ahi, Tahoe, or Tejan, uh, Eric Hansen, Patricia Ikeda, um, if you hear your name or if you see them come, let them know uh, to go on in. Jennifer Slightholm. Melani Lee. Michelle Cavalse. Uh, Linda Namau. Lani Allen Sinkin on behalf of Temple of Lono. Kali Kalehua Kanaele. Go ahead. They got, uh, security's got your name at the door. <laughs> Stephanie Malia Tabata. Tiffany Kakalia. Len Kila. Joy Mills Farron. Brandon Kealoha. Um, Cindy Freitas. William, um, William Freitas, Edward Akiona, Waala Ahn, Harry Fergustrom, Anna Navahine Kahoopei, Richard DeLeon, Mehana Kihoi, Kahookahi Kanuha, Joseph Kamara, Kamara, apologies. Halona Mikalajiro Fukutomi. Crystal West. Ivy McIntosh. William Holy. Moses Keala Makia Jr. Michael Lee. Uh, Council for Cueo, Lincoln Ashina or another representative, and Rick Cassidy. Um, 
Once we have these people seated, we'll make a count. You're a petitioner. You should be in with your lawyer. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll make a count of how many public seats we have left. I know not everyone who petitioned made it this morning. This was all we could get. So we will try again next time to accommodate. Um, and I will be talking to the parties after this to see if, if folks uh, don't mind if we ask the university because that is a source. But I didn't want to assume anything because they're a party so we didn't ask them but perhaps we can ask them next time and and if everybody has uh, no objections then that might be another alternative so please bear with us today we're going to do our very best to move it along as orderly as we can focusing of course on the issues and that's what we want to do i know we all want to do that so again i'll repeat that the reason we're having the hearing today are is twofold one is to deal with the motions or requests to intervene as parties. And the second, which will be the second half, is a pre-hearing conference, our second one. And that's going to be to set out the dates for the hearing and go through other details. So um, I know that Mauna Kea Anaina Ho has three more persons who are part of their contingency is there any objection to my offering their, those three seats to those folks in the front row here so they can sit close to their, their side? Objection. Is that okay with everybody? Anybody has any objections? I want, all right, so Mr. Werderman, you're welcome to bring in the other three. The university has two other parties, and I would ask if anybody has objection to our bringing them in, they would sit in the two seats on the side. Is that okay with everybody? All right. Thanks for your cooperation. So if you want to bring in your other two, you can. Orderly as we can, and see how many more seats we can offer folks outside. I know they've come a long ways. Everyone is very interested. We really want to accommodate as many as we can. Lisa Hunter. Roxanne Stewart. Okay. Yvonne Verber. Thank you. Paul Levecchio. Okay. And Greg Johnson. Great. Right. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to go do a cap. There's As a whole Ilona, I believe and I trust that we just stay in alignment with the mouth and just let it unfold and trust in that this is working out as exactly as it should be and that I'm not allowed into the room either, which is okay, because I'm thinking of the tomorrows and the tomorrows and the tomorrows after that. I'm not thinking of just this one moment. So if you don't get in the room, this is what I'm going to ask of you. No be who who out there. You shift that and you just support every person in there who's needing to speak today because some of them, most of them, this is their first time and they were diligent, something called their name and they said, I'll, I'll sign up. I'll, I'll be a petitioner if I get in. And right now, that's all that matters. It matters that we focus our hearts to the Mauna and to them and you as a triangle. And we just stay in that. And if I don't get in, that's fine. I know that I'm going to stand strong right out here if I don't. Okay, and can we just do that? Can we work from there? So about... Just when this issue was getting heated, um, I had a girl that put astronomy as her career field of interest. And then the protest began. And she comes in the next day and she says, I don't want to be an astronomer. <laughs> No, so I was wondering, um, maybe it's maybe from about 7 to maybe 14. But it wasn't too difficult to find uh, 16 to 18 year olds who are interested Maybe not even a, in astronomy, but just interested in knowing what is that for part of the song. And I think we need to provide that to what they believe in. We 
because of what he has been left behind. And, uh, it influences the whole culture. So we got to move culture and science together. And if there is, um, you know, there's no question that the people who want to be safe, if you want to be safe, it's important to bring the community. Okay, then that's everybody. Everybody has a seat. Then we're good. Then are you leaving temporarily, sir? I have to feed the meter. Oh, okay. Feed the meter. Okay. Yeah, I understand. I got quarters. I, I'd like to introduce everybody here at the table so you know who's up here and who I am and what we're doing here today. So I'm Ricky Amano and this is as tall as I get. <laughs> so when I sit down, I'm sorry, but I might not see you folks back there again. Um, uh, to my left here is Deputy Attorney General William Weinhoff and Deputy Attorney General, General Julie China. They're both with the Department of Labor and Natural Resources, uh, sorry, Land and Natural Resources. I'm thinking labor. Um, and they're here to uh, be my advisors. Also to the left is Dan Dennison, who really was a big help this morning. Uh, he had a tough job, and I apologize to you, Dan, for you know, this small room and not, not being here earlier. We have two microphones, the one I'm holding, and also there's one here on the table for you folks so that we can hear you really clearly and we cannot talk over each other because she can only take down one person talking at a time. I'd like to start the hearing. And to do so, may I ask that uh, councils introduce themselves and those persons with them. My name is Tim Luiquan. I'm an attorney for representing um, the University of Wide Hilo, uh, the applicant in this case. With me today is Jay Pete Minot, off to my right. Off to my far right is Ian Sanderson another attorney and with us today our clients uh, uh, David Longboard from the University of Hawaii and uh, Dr. Uh, Robert McLaren from the Institute for Astronomy. Good morning Judge Richard Naivieha Werderman on behalf of the petitioners um, present with me this morning Keoloha Pishota of Mauna Kea Anainai Ho uh, Clarence Kukau Akahi Ching, um, and seated behind me are Deborah Ward, Kalani Flores, and Pua Case of the Flores Case Ohana. I have a list of all the requests and motions that have been filed. So I'm going to, starting from the first motion we received or request, I'm going to call that name and I would ask that you stand and identify yourself and I apologize that uh, if, if I know it's going to be difficult for you folks to get to the front so if I can hear your name I'll repeat it we'll spell it and maybe that will help us get through this a little bit quicker so the first motion was filed motion to have TMT International Observatory LLC etc uh, would you stand and identify yourself please Yes, Your Honor, Douglas Ng, and I'm the attorney for TMT International Observatory, LLC. Thank you, Mr. Ng. Next, request to be admitted as a party. That would be C.M. Kaho'okahi Kanuha. You're Mr. Kanuha? Thank you. I'd like to make a statement that maybe would help expedite the proceedings, sure. if I can. Yeah, so at this point, Your Honor, we, as we have actually already set out in our response to the requests or petitions for admission as parties, we, uh, we believe that both T TIO, the TMT International uh, Observatory, as well as uh, Pueo have met the requirements for admission of parties under 13-1-31 HAR. Um, and as to the remaining requests, at this point in time, Your Honor, in the interest of time, and efficiency in the proceedings. Uh, we will not object. We withdraw objections to the remaining requesters that have timely filed 
are present here today and who have paid their fees for for um, um, a request for admission. Um, and Your Honor, I, I think we can get into maybe ways we can suggest of even making it more efficient, probably at the pre-hearing conference in terms of how they can be grouped. We Thank notice many of them are very similar claims are identical. Mr. Werderman, would you like to say anything before I proceed? Um, no, I'll, I'll reserve comment. Okay. So, I would like to address Mr. Ng first. The objection to your intervention, Mr. Ng, is raised by Mauna Kea Anaina Ho, and I'll give you an opportunity if you wish to respond, and then I have some questions as well. These documents are executed copies of the sublease that TIO entered into, TIO stands for TMT International Observatory LLC, with the University of Hawaii. That's number one. The second is a consent from the Board of Land and Natural Resources to that sublease. And the third document is a scientific cooperation agreement entered into between TIO again and the University of Hawaii. Now, I'll begin my argument and I will come back to these documents during the course of that argument. First of all, Mr. Waterman makes uh, three arguments in opposition. First, he argues that the request is untimely. Second, he argues that the legal status of TIO's property rights have not been resolved. And third, he simply states that our alternative arguments fail as well. So let me first address the initial argument. Now, this argument about the request being untimely is made only against Puel and TIO. But if you accept this rationale, everyone else seeking intervention or a request to become a party would likely be untimely. The petitioners cannot have it both ways. The basis for their argument that it's untimely is that we were around or in existence in one form or another during the course of the initial contested case proceeding. However, as you are aware, the Hawaii Supreme Court invalidated that initial contested case proceeding. So Mr. Werdeman cannot have it both ways. He can't say it was valid for purposes of either TMT or TIO being untimely, yet invalid for every other purpose, such as the record, the witnesses, the evidence that was presented in that proceeding as well as the CDP that was granted. Can't have it both ways. It was either valid or invalid. The court said it was invalid. We start afresh. With respect to um, this TIO, which seems to be um, the 2014 formed entity um, and a completely separate entity, from um, the original applicant uh, or the party upon which the University of Hawaii uh, brought the CDUA uh, on behalf. Um, we have two separate entities. Um, and with respect first to um, the issue about timeliness, um, the first entity, which contained many of the, uh, apparently from reading the pleadings of TIO, um, contained at least some of the parties uh, which later became part of the LLC. Um, this was a, we would submit a strategic effort to insulate liability on behalf of TMT and to allow the UH to litigate during 
years of litigation uh, while they sat by, uh, came before the court conveniently from time to time in request for amicus appearances, never wanting to intervene. And then when they thought the coast was clear, after Judge Nakamura in 2014 affirmed the previous order, they then entered into this sublease. Um, seemingly, um, as a result of, of a, what they felt was no longer a calculated risk, um, they then formed this new um, LLC with their additional parties like the governments of China and India. Um, and um, they then, um, um, we all know what happened later. BLNR can just proceed and rule on certain things that they feel is appropriate and, and just disregard an order of, of the Third Circuit on remand. Um, uh, as we stated in our position paper, we do support the TM TIO's um, uh, petition to be admitted as a party. As to the, the sublease, so Mr. Ng is correct. Uh, we are a party, by the way, to the appeal of the denial of a contested case in the sublease consent case. Um, there's been no order by Judge Nakamura or by any court which actually has struck or otherwise um, terminated or voided the consent issued by uh, the land board. Um, there, there was a remand for response to questions, which will go back to Judge Nakamura. Even more important, there was no request for an injunction or a stay for the, the consent that was actually issued. And as far as uh, the sublease goes. Mr. Ng, is there a difference between TIO and the, I guess the 30 meter telescope observatory? Yes. Uh, TIO is allowed into this party, then I think the appropriate motion to uh, strike and dismiss the uh, application which was brought up on behalf of the other entity um, sounds like is no longer a valid one um, and that um, frankly if if that's the case I don't even see what UH's purpose in these proceedings are either because um, they clearly have the exact same duplicate arguments um, and TMT Observatory Corp is, is listed and it's in my Exhibit B in their application as the party upon which the CDUP application is being brought. So it sounds like given the new posturing of corporate entities by TMT that, that we have the wrong party or the wrong application currently before us. So you've read the objections to your participation filed by Mr. Werdeman. I'd like you to address that and like we just did with uh, TIO, we'll have, um, give everybody a chance to ask questions, the parties as well as myself. This mic. Walking in the aisles back there is like coach class on an airplane. Something I'm very uh, familiar with, Judge. Um, good morning, Your Honor. May it please the court. Uh, thank you for allowing uh, Pueo perpetuating unique educational opportunities and opportunity to be heard um, this morning on its petition for intervention. Um, to start, um, and I will be brief this morning, Your Honor, just to give a very brief background of um, Pueo, how it started, um, its genesis. Pueo is true to its name, is perpetuating unique educational opportunities. It was formed by a group of very visionary um, persons, Native Hawaiians um, from our Big Island community, who sought and recognized that the future of our island was dependent upon the development 
um, of educational opportunities within the community, specifically in the areas of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Now, at the onset, let me just say this, Pueo is here, whether TMT goes, whether TMT stays, Pueo is here for all educational opportunities. TMT is just one of the um, issues presently in our community which Pueo has come out to take a position um, or a stand on. Um, some people ask, well, why an organization? And the reason for the organization is the recognition among the founders that there were voices, and not a voice, but voices within the community that weren't being heard. Okay? That they stood by, they watched as these proceedings and the TMT proceedings and the petitioners' um, efforts progressed, and they recognized that there were voices that needed to be heard, to be brought to the table, specifically those of the children, the future beneficiaries of STEM technology within um, our community on the Big Island. And that is the reason that Pueo um, was formed. That was the reason Pueo made a decision uh, to request intervention, humbly ask for intervention in these proceedings. Now, turning to the uh, criteria under the Hawaii Administrative Rules, we believe that Pueo satisfies both prongs, both the uh, mandatory admission provision as well as the discretionary provision. Um, they have, we, we, again, I promise you I will be brief, we submit upon the declarations that we have submitted in our moving papers. Uh, we believe that we've met both prongs. I know Your Honor has um, uh, questions uh, for us. I'll be more than happy to um, address those as well as uh, Mr. Werderman's objections as well. Thank you. Mr. Werderman, I'll invite your uh, argument at this point. Thank you. Um, as, as we discussed um, in depth in our memorandum, Judge, the um, Puer was a newly formed entity. It was just put together. It sounded, sounds like April two months ago. Um, and by, it, it appears, four individuals, and I think there's one or two others who signed the corporate documents, uh, four individuals who have been actively um, engaged for several years uh, in these issues. Um, and who, interestingly, are not coming forward as individuals like the rest of the room and making requests, but came through this process of forming this nonprofit um, just two months ago, um, seemingly to position themselves to participate in these proceedings. Um, the corporation, especially given its very short shelf life, um, cannot claim any harm at this point because there's no evidence that it's done anything. Um, and, um, you know, because it's brought in, at the, the request is being made as a corporate entity, I think it's one very problematic as a result. Um, and the issue about I mean, everyone in this room, no doubt, we want children to be educated. I mean, that's not that that's not objectionable by anybody. But that's not relevant to these proceedings. What's what's relevant is is that there's a CDUP application to build an observatory. That there are eight elements. Um, under the administrative rules that must be considered as to whether to grant such a, an application. And in doing so, and as discussed um, in our case law, uh, including the PASH decision, there is, and, and Kapa'akai, there and others, there are, there is a need, a, a constitutional requirement for the court um, court, or in this case, the administrative hearings officer, 
to consider um, those interests um, that traditional and customary practices that are, are firmly rooted in custom and tradition, uh, those parties who can articulate specific personal adverse effect by the agency's actions. Um, this is not what Pueo is about. Pueo is about a group of um, a corporation that is um, here before you um, that um, in the declaration, some of the members of the corporation reference their past corporate uh, or their cultural practices, but it's not specific, personal, and adverse to this agency's action. Take a good one. So, do, do you have any questions about what I said earlier? At this moment, Aole. Okay. And so, would you would you be willing to be a hearing officer witness? Or do you prefer to be a party? And if you do, you'll have to follow all the requirements and participate in all the conferences and hearings. OK, so now I have a question. Um, would I be able to, at this moment, uh, stay in my request to become a party, but perhaps reserve the right to, um, to withdraw from that and, and become just a witness? Or do I have to make a decision right now? You're going to need to make a decision because we need to start making decisions at the pre-hearing conference mm -hmm about going forward and so i need to know okay. who's going to be parties and not then i wish to remain as a as a reparty or remain uh, keep my request and you're to be going a party. to be committed to yes i will be participating in everything yes okay. very good and you understand that should you not appear for something or not participate that at that point the likelihood is i will dismiss you as a party understood you understand that? understood fair enough all right no questions no questions. Okay, very good. Thank you. Aloha. <coughs> Did you have? Do you have any questions about what I said earlier? No, but I, I choose to remain um, as a party. Okay, you are committed to doing all of the other pieces. I. All right, including yeah. the findings, conclusions, subpoenas, mm -hmm. witness, exhibit lists, everything. Everything. All right, and are you from this island? Yes. All right, good. Okay. All right, any questions about that? No. Very good. Thank, Thank you, Ms. Hoy. You get to use the good microphone. So, do you have any questions about what I was saying earlier? Um, no, I don't have any. And I would like to remain as a party. Okay. All right, Mr. Now, Ferguson. when you say okay, does that mean I am a party? No. Okay. It means I heard you and okay. I'll think about I'm just it. Trying to make, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Kamara, what, what would you like to do? Um, I'd like to stay as a, um, as a potential party um, or, or to, to keep my application to be a party for the contesting case hearing. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. We assist the board and the hearing officer in their decision-making capacities. I also find that TO, TIO, has a substantial interest. And for those reasons, I am granting the requests to be admitted, subject to the payment of fines or obtaining the waivers. So if you have not paid your, your not a fine, I'm sorry, the $100 filing fee or obtained a waiver from Chair Case, because that's administrative. I don't do that stuff. But you need to do that because if you have not, then you're not going to be in as a party. I can't do it. So please take care of those matters if you haven't already. Yes, sir. You can file a motion. All right. I think I disposed of all of the requests. Is that Did I get everybody? Mrs. Holy has a question. Um, can I change from a party to a witness? Sure. Okay. All right. I, I did not specifically mention Pueo. I refer to them as one of the two institutional um, move-ons or requesters. Pueo is granted as well. Okay.
Okay. So I'm going to adjourn this hearing because we're done with the motions and the requests. Those who have been admitted as parties are required to stay. We need to start talking about the details for the hearing. I want to set, I want to set the schedule, talk about pre-hearing statements when they're due, when all the other statements are due. Okay, so uh, the, everyone else is welcome to stay. It's public hearing. But I would ask if you don't mind if we could allow, allow the parties to come up to the front. That would be helpful as we go forward with the next details. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Questions? who wish to withdraw their motions and requests and choose instead to be witnesses are going to be my witnesses, hearing officer witnesses. You'll be notified about when the hearing is going to be and I'll try to schedule a time for you to be here so you don't have to wait for 10 days because I know it's difficult. Um, so please be sure that you keep your addresses and contact info current but we're going to do the best we can. Our prior arrangement would have accommodated everybody, but it was out of our control. So I'm very sorry to everyone, and we did the best we could to put as many of you in this room as possible. New petitioners, can you raise your hand? And really, the rest of us, we just really have to look who that is. And there are more. And the reason is they're going to need us. They're going to need our support. They're going to maybe call you as a witness. They're, they're going to call you if you're not. And you all know already we find all reasons to go back to the mountain and get stronger. And this is the best one yet coming up. And